What's up, y'all? Candy Girl here with my two cents on this hot mess of a case against Jesse Smollett that has now been dropped. All charges have been dropped, okay? At least from the state. I'm not sure about federal, but the thing that I found interesting, and you all let me know what you think, but what I found interesting was this man was allegedly the victim of a heinous, egregious hate crime, and then was later accused of setting all of it up. He had to post $10,000 in bond, lost his job, and probably a lot of prospects for future employment, because if you have a long-standing career as a leading role, on a show that is one of the top shows on that network that sets you up for future opportunities if you lose an opportunity from a high profile highly televised and publicized scandal that precludes a lot of employment okay so all of these things happen and he said okay you guys are dropping the charges you can go ahead and keep the ten thousand dollars and also, I'm going to do community service in the city of Chicago. And somehow, I am expected to believe that the charges that were brought against Jesse were unfounded, baseless, and wrongful to the point where the charges were dropped. Doesn't make humanly common sense. If it were me, if I was the victim of a hate crime and then the tables were turned on me and they said, well, you actually orchestrated this entire thing and I had to put up $10,000 of my own money, I lost my job and future prospects of employment, I'd be like, you can run up on my $10,000, certified funds, please. And then second of all, you need to be making a public statement as to how we got to where we are because... You're not going to just say, oh, we're going to drop the charges, but let me keep that good 10000 Not going to happen. And not to mention the fact that, to put the cherry on top, the state attorney is saying that his volunteer work, as well as him turning over the $10,000, was a justice uh, resolution in our eyes. So that means that you had to kind of pay some price for this in that, not only are you f turning over the 10000 that really should be going back in your pocket for being wrongfully accused of perpetrating this fraud, um, but you also got to do community service. Sounds like a sentence to me that circumvented the criminal justice system. Um, what my speculation is that there were weaknesses on both sides. Um, the state didn't have enough compelling evidence beyond a reasonable doubt that he perpetrated this entire fraud. Um, and he didn't have enough evidence to really prosecute the people who allegedly committed the crime against him, which would then kind of vindicate him to the public. Um, so they just said, look, we'll just do a wash. You know what I'm saying? You won't press charges against these people. We will drop the charges against you. Um, and we'll keep it moving. Something doesn't sound right. And does that really have an effect on how the public um, views the criminal justice system in the city of Chicago? Absolutely. For me, at least, it means that they don't take their own city seriously if someone were to accuse um another person of committing a crime in your city uh that to me would um you know lead me to try to make sure that it is abundantly clear that this did not happen and as a matter of fact he fabricated all of this and for them to say, well, we'll just take the money, it's almost like you can be bought. 
And that indicates to me that there's some kind of corruption within the police department. Now, dollars and cents wise, let's just be honest, both sides benefit. Number one, Jesse would have paid way more than $10,000 in attorney fees trying to clear his name, defend himself, and also prosecute the people who allegedly committed this crime. On the other hand, for the city, it costs a lot of money for them to investigate and prosecute only for them to not have enough evidence beyond a reasonable doubt that he perpetrated this fraud. So maybe it just made both, it made sense on both ends. I do settlements all the time where there's just, it just makes better sense financially to settle it out of court. So for me, my thought is, you know, it's a dollar and cents issue, but more importantly, there's some admission of guilt hidden underneath the terms and conditions of this whole entire um, situation. But you all let me know what you think in the comments because maybe I'm just being a little too cynical. But, uh, you know, I've tried to say in my past uh, video that I'm not going to make any uh, rash um decisions or conclusions or make any judgments but based upon what I know from official statements from the um from the state I would safely conclude that they were paid off and that there's probably something there to the charges but they just didn't have enough evidence and they didn't want to spend the money and the time doing it so Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe I'm taking this a little too far, but let me know what you think. Until next time, you all, love and blessings.